Hello everyone and welcome to perhaps the most relaxing main menu I've ever seen in a video game ever before. So, this is Deep Diving Simulator, which is made by the same guy who made Kursk way back when for about instead one or two years ago, that I found it at least. And since then I've actually had well, some kind of relation to the developer, we have been talking back and forth and originally I was supposed to get a copy or a, um, a beta run for this game, which I never got for some reason, but that out of the question here. So these Jaja B Studio exactly know what they are doing. I only have one problem with this game, that was the default setting were Polish once I got in it, so I had to use Google Translate to figure out where the fuck is the language bar. But now that we have that out of the way, this is Deep Diving Simulator. It has amazing rating, it sounds awesome, it looks great at least here in the background. And we are going to play through this. And I could of course apologize for why no videos came uh, out in the most of August and were well, in the beginning of September, why it's been like two months since I actually did something. But I will not apologize for that now, I will do that once I run out of stuff to tell or talk about. Let's have a look at what's actually going on in this game. Everything can be fine on the surface. Hello there. You must be my new sidekick. No! Yes. Professor Adams at your service. Hello there, old man. I don't like you very much. Again. Oh, it's... T huh? Someone said something. I don't know why. Anyways. Professor Adams here at your service. I see that you have already put on my old equipment. Yes. I'm glad you're my size. Because I wouldn't be able to afford you a new one. Huh. You aren't much of a professor if you can't even afford that, I guess. Ah, that's right. I would like to thank you for coming here and lending me a hand in my secret quest. I can't dive anymore, even if my life depended on it. So I'm eternally grateful. Well, that fucking sucks if you cannot dive anymore, but okay. And we'll be doing the oceans and seas of the world a great favor. We will? How? We are literally interrupting an ecosystem by going down there every single time. The Titanic will be gone rotten away in about approximately 20 years from now because we have made trips to it. And well, us making trips near the hall disturbs the environment around the hall and new bacteria is going to was starting to deteriorate. It has actually de it's actually decreased the whole integrity of the wreck just because we have gone down there and filmed movies and such. But sure, if you believe we're doing it, it's a great favor, I guess. Uh, Professor Adams here at your service. Now, before we begin, yes, I think you should warm up before we hit the very deep waters. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Just swinging my arm around so I can actually do stuff. Look at this. Wee, wee. One, and two, and one, and two. I also have to warm up my voice to eternal screaming whenever a shark tries to eat my fucking face. Ah! That's the manly scream, yay. Luckily, there's no one around Misty Lagoon at this hour. So I guess we should get started there as soon as possible. Didn't you just say I had to warm up? Uh, am I going to be naked while I warm up? Is that why no one has to be around? I'll meet you there. Well, not in person, that is. Oh, you're a robot, I see. So, um... Oh. Here's the pirate's nest. Oh. Oh, I changed between location. Oh. Ah. Misty Lagoon. Misty Lagoon. Okay, interesting. Am I. No? Okay. Pirate's nest. Pirate's nest. Misty Lagoon. Am I. Ah, oh, Misty Lagoon. I have such fond memories of this place. Wasn't I supposed right. to warm up? No daydreaming on the job. Wasn't I supposed to warm up or something? I wasn't I supposed to go through some kind of tutorial, or am I just well, screw it, yeet over the side? Get your feet wet and slowly explore your surroundings. I hope that suit doesn't have any holes in it. How the hell would I put it on if it doesn't have holes in it? Your objective is pretty simple. Collect anything you may think has some value, and I can sell, like coins, pots, minerals, and other valuables. What about your skull, and your glasses, and your bow tie, and your sexy long ass hair, and your mustache, and your wrinkles? They're probably worth a fortune to the right bidder. People are weird these days, so why not? 
This will help our quest. And there's a container somewhere around these parts. So if you happen to come across it, find out if there's some treasure inside. There's a container. Don't worry. We're not robbing anybody. We're just cleaning the underwater world from things that don't belong in there. Whatever comes down there and stays there for more than a decade belongs there. That's pretty much how it works. You should be more focused on cleaning out oil and such, oil spills and such. Because they really rapidly change the environment and I cannot keep up with that. If you drop something of metal, it stays there. And well, maybe maybe some plants can grow on it and such. But I'm not the expert. You are Professor Adams, who is definitely a verified doctor. You're doing a big favor for all of us. Just hurry up when you see it, okay? So can I dive now? Wow. Remember that you can swim faster by pressing and holding the acceleration button. Yes, do I have to look out for sharks? That's my only concern right now. Those on stingrays. Huh. Commonly known as the most peaceful of its pleasant and calm waters, as well as the beautiful and endangered coral reef, often called rainforests of the sea, coral reefs form some of the world's most diverse ecosystems and are estimated to cover 115,000 square miles, which is under 0.1% of the ocean's entire surface area. I know. I just fucked that up. But oh well. Yay! I'm so sorry. To deep diving simulator. Shut up! I'm so sorry, people. I fucked up that intro right there. I pushed the wrong combination of buttons. I wanted to just remove my face. I ended up killing everything around me. It should be fine now, but in case it isn't, let me just check here. Yeah, it looks absolutely fine. Okay, let's go. You can view and change your control settings in the pause menu. Your primary task is to collect valuable items that are scattered in the depths. Locate the first item and pick it up. I also realized I only have 10 minutes according to the clock down in the corner, so I have 10 minutes to find a container and get the hell out of here. Great. Okay. Switch to now, switch to healing beam, switch to charge beam. Go right, go left, flashlight. Toggle item counter. Interact. Scan. Scanner. Turn up, turn down. That's a lot of stuff actually. Let's give it a go. Oh. What the fuck happened? Ah. Okay. We Ah Okay, how did I pick it? Oh. Ah. If Okay, so I have to look out for not smashing into goddamn rocks. Right. You've just collected your first item. Hooray! I should get a goddamn medal for it. Where's my achievement? Where's my golden crown? Where are my money? Something. Keep an eye out for other items and try to find that container. I know, but I have ten minutes and I just killed myself by smacking into a goddamn thing. Huh? Okay. Ah, 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 ah! Yes, at least I have range. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Ah, ah. Down. Go. Uh, uh. Okay, apparently I can also smack downwards. Ah! Oh, that's oh, that's that's bad. Okay. I shouldn't. For some reason, I shouldn't sail into something that's fully covered in spikes. Oh no! 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 I don't remember my body being made out of lead. God. No crap. Only take. Okay. Apparently that gives time. Oh, that's good to know. Things give time. Great, apparently that's able to resupply. I'm able to capture the bubbles before they leave! Don't crash into a rock. Oh, you crashed into a rock, you fucking idiot. God damn. Oh. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, yes. Okay, yeah, yes. Okay, uh, come. Easy. There we go. Go. Wow. I'm just saying, we were removing things which didn't seem to belong in the sea, but. I see a lot of things, shells and such, which seemingly do belong in the sea, just saying. Wow. Look at this natural beauty. Fishy! Oh fuck, I'm going into a rock. Oh! Wow. Okay, but it looks very barren around where we are. 
I guess that's the problem with them giving me an open world. They wouldn't be able to put plants on every single surface. It's pretty though. I'll give it that. Okay, and... Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, give it. Thank you very much. I don't think I missed out on anything. There we go. Give me my money! Oh, beer bottles. Finally, an object which actually does not belong down here. Except for the fact that the fishes are probably happy for them. I know there are more over there, but I actually have to get it. Stop! Stop! There we go. Okay. Go. Aha! Ah. Uh, uh, less ha. Huh. What about over here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm playing with a Mars rover in an ocean world. But okay. Yes. Give it to me! Fuck! How does that not belong in the fucking ocean? Nothing over here. Yeah. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Gif! Gif! Claim! No take, only throw! I don't know. It's still pretty, I will give it that, but god damn it, these are controls! I want to murder a child now. And that only happens when I get ang- God damn it. Thank you. Okay. Ow. Apparently dragging your balls across the goddamn ocean wasn't a good idea. Go up, you idiot. Where's the container? Oh, there- There's something- Stop! I got this. I got this. Yeah. Still pretty, but god damn it, I hate everything now. I'm also kind of wasting time. Uh. Okay, nothing. A whole lot of nothing over here. I think my hands just disappeared through my skull. Ouch! My ball sack just got imploded. Go! No, 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 no. Well, at least there's something over here. Ah. There we go. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Oh, there's another one. I actually don't really have time to waste. I have to go straight for these things at this point. Because running out of air is apparently a thing and thing and resupplying by only 8 seconds at a time isn't really enough to keep me down here. Unless I find a couple of beer bottles which apparently lay in pairs. There we go. Okay. Yes. There's another one. Go! Wow. Look at that fishy McFish fish. That thing is probably going to eat my balls. Oh, more stuff which doesn't belong in the ocean, but it's clearly from the ocean. Yay, diving entry. <sighs> okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. I have it, I have it. I am going to grab it. I am going to grab it. Yay. I'm still not doing it fast enough to earn air, but that's fine. As long as I find the goddamn container, which is probably hidden somewhere below, behind or something. All these things seem to clearly belong in the ocean though, Mr. Adam Professor Thing, but just because they're dead doesn't mean they're not a part of the ecosystem. But yeah, it's true what I said about the Titanic, it is actually deteriorating, in approximately 20 years it will be totally gone. Maybe 30 if we are lucky. But that's only because someone decide to go down there, or some people have decided to go down there and do stuff down there and take pictures of it and such, in the flesh and the bacteria they bring with them down there has destabilized the thing and they are kind of eating the, they are kind of eating the remaining of the hall. That's why fortunately some museum over in Britain, I believe it at least was, somewhere over there, 
Or it could have been Ireland for that matter, because that's where the ship is kind of built, sort of. It's built like this place that was in between, more or less, back then. Oh, I found a container. What? Oh, there it is. But yeah, there was a lot of crates that I could... But yeah, there was also a lot of... The thing I talked about, yeah. What else? I, I was talking about something, some not important but useful. Oh. Huh. Great. The eco gun is a great tool to fight for the purity of our underwater nature. Yes. This ingenious invention emits ultrasound waves with a special frequency that breaks down pollutants and some objects into harmless molecules. You can also use the eco gun to scare off predators if they attack you. I'm going to be attacked. The basic eco gun operating mode is used to clean underwater creatures from contamination. The single charge mode is used to scare off predators and to destroy certain objects such as fishing nets. Oh, fuck! I have a fucking laser gun, apparently. Uh, no, 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 don't smack into the wall, you smack into the wall, god. Fucking damn it. Okay. You've just acquired an underwater scanner. Yay, how do you use it? Use this prototype device to detect and mark all items worth your attention in your immediate environment. How do I turn the it on? The scanner will detect interesting items as well as environmentally harmful contaminants. Hey. Time to save the marine life. Use the scanner and find a contaminated creature. Okay, um... How do I use... Can I just, um... Can I... Nope. Well, if I didn't waste so much time on, you know, looking at goddamn fishes, I might have been better off. It doesn't exactly point me in any direction. Hold on. Yes, I know. You only have one minute of oxygen left. If you don't resurface on time, all your collected items will be lost. Ha. Huh. Each resurface saves you progress and your collected items. Keep that in mind. Oh, so that's how it works. Okay, in that case, I'm not afraid to go up. Oh, that ain't how it works. I wanna go up. Let me up, you bastard. Okay, apparently there's a wall on the surface. Great. Hello! Let me up! I wanna go up! I... Let me just get this straight, how the fuck do you do this? How hard is it to put a tiny hint towards how to actually service, surface? Commonly known as the most peaceful of diving sites, Misty Lagoon holds its good reputation thanks to its pleasant and calm waters, as well as the beautiful and endangered coral reef. Often called rainforests of the sea, coral reefs form some of the world's most diverse ecosystems and are estimated to cover 115,000 square miles, which is under 0.1% of the ocean's entire surface area. Simulator. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're back here. You can view and change your control settings in the pause menu. Alright, so let's see now. Maybe I was supposed to press F. Interact. 
tug of war. Okay, let's go. Let's try again then with less suck. Now I just hate the game. Rawr, it's definitely not my fault, it's the game's fault. Rawr, rawr. Yay, hooray, wait. Great. Go away, shut up. I don't like you anymore. Oh, I'm Professor Adam. I know like two words or something like that. I know like two useful words or something like that. And... Stop. Stop. Oh, I'm in a spiky nest. I shouldn't be in a spiky nest. Get off my goddamn balls, you fucking maniac. Thank you for the heads up. Damn it. We just lost a lot of unrecoverable air. Okay. With this. Stop! And the beer bottles. And now we know approximately where the hell that container is. Look at those! Let's go say hi! With a knife! Okay, it doesn't let me. Never mind then. These are probably the contaminated animals he's talking about. Now, I don't dive myself, but I still question some of the difficulties I'm having with controlling where the fuck I'm going. On the other hand, there's no current here to push me around. Like they would probably be in real life. Ah! Pew! Aha! Headshot! Good. So, I don't have any sort of interest in you the crates or something. An underwater Use this prototype device to detect and mark all items worth your attention in your immediate environment. You never explained to me how the that works. will detect interesting items as well as environmentally harmful contaminants. Yes, but how? Time to save the marine life. Use the scanner and find a contaminated creature. You never told me how. Or where it is. You do realize I'm just going to kill those fucking animals, right? Right? I know where they are, but I don't know how to... It doesn't tell me what direction they're in or anything, I just guess at this point. They all look the same. There. Let's destroy this motherfucker. Okay, that didn't work. Nah. My gun doesn't work anymore. Okay. Oh, there we go. What? Huh? Ta-da! Can I do it again? Oh. Am I doing the right thing? Is that the right thing to do? Shoot animals repeatedly with a gun of question origin. Uh, no! Ta-da! Question mark. It doesn't do anything. Okay. I thought this was like for like for me. So they are just this disgusting. They're not contaminated, right? This is how that works. Haha! No idea what the fuck that was supposed to do, but okay. This scanner doesn't do anything for me. Nope, it does nothing. Let's surface and see if we can get something. Oh! There we go. Yay! We're not done yet. I hope we're not leaving yet. I still need to do stuff here. Base speed, 10%. I don't think I need to go that much faster. I'm just going to collide my ball sacks into the goddamn walls. Recharge speed. That's always nice, but do I need it? New location, pirate's nest. I don't want to go somewhere. Dive again. I'm not done with this, as you can clearly tell. I am a completionist. I'm not going to leave this place till uh, two thirds devoured by crap.
Oh, there we go. Give me that. Give me you. Deliver. Hand over. Yay. Okay. Still, how the fuck was I supposed to use the flat? Let me see. Spe Spectator mode. Oh. Yeah. Uh, controls. No. No. Okay, th this changes nothing. Target acquired. Leading target. Damn it. This doesn't really look like a coral sea because the corals have a tendency to be, you know, fucking everywhere. Oh, hello. Ah, fuck. Say hello to my little friend. You're the same container as before, aren't you? Oh, fishing net. Great. You do realize it's one hell of a task you put in front of yourself, Mr. Man, Mr. Adams, Professor Adams, Dr. Adams, Mr. Adams. Fine then. You only have one minute of oxygen left. If you don't resurface on time, all your collected items will be lost. Don't mind the fact that I'll fucking die. Each resurface saves you progress and your collected items. Keep yeah, let's go. There's nothing else to it. Go! Level three. Oh, that's great and all, but I don't think it indicates anything. We're going down there again because apparently I have to clean out a lot of fishes. Yeah, and not with a knife and guts and such, but apparently I just have to save them. So every single fish has to be shot. Is that what you're telling me? What does a contaminated fish look like in this environment? Not like that, that's for sure. And we're still looking for a few items, I guess. I don't know. I'm a bit confused, but I have the spirit. There we go. And there's one of those spiky spikes. It didn't do anything, it's just air bubbles. Oh, they are apparently everywhere. The spike thingamajiggies are everywhere. Great. Good to know. In that cave at least. So I'm looking for like 30 fish in a huge fucking area which have to be shot in the face. I think. Either that or there are like 30 things which don't fit belong here which I have to shoot. What about this motherfucker? He looks contaminated. But That didn't do anything. Did that do something? That didn't do anything. Robo rack. Apparently, I'm still finding new locations that didn't do anything either. Got it. So that's not what a contaminated fish look like. Contaminated. Boxes are not of any interest. I see. Ah, it's those. Get off my ball sacks, you goddamn spikes. I mean, like this just doesn't look sick or anything. What about this? Nothing. Dory! Find Do I found Dory, guys! It's Dory! Look at her! Hi, Dory. How the fuck did I take a screenshot with this thing? Not that way, that's for sure. It's Dory! I mean, I... What are we going for here? I keep finding all kinds of stuff with um, which I don't even try to- Oh! Yay! A fucking shell! The trip hasn't been entirely wasted. Fuck. There we go. The trip hasn't been entirely wasted. I found one shell. Yay! I have not found whatever the hell needs my help. Or needs my gun. Something needs to be shot with a gun. And I cannot figure out what it is. It wasn't Dory, clearly. She is healthy as always, although she cannot remember shit, but that doesn't count. Yes, I know. I've sailed around for 10 minutes, not done anything. 
Actually, it hasn't been 10 minutes. It's been less than 10 minutes because I keep losing my goddamn hair. And these motherfuckers would look like they need a lot of help or be put out of misery. Don't need a lot of help or need to be put out of misery. So I'm just gonna shoot you repeatedly with my gun. Well, we could also just go up. Diver sickness, I guess. It's always nice. I have no idea how to identify what the hell they look like. That's my main problem here. I don't know what exactly I'm looking for or what it looks like. I cannot identify my targets. We are looking for sick and ill fish. I have no idea what sick and ill fish look like compared to all the other garbage things around me. I'm actually going to, after this one, make a Google search on what the fuck does a contaminated wildlife look like? Or marine life look like? Oh, look, a shell. Give me that goddamn shell. I have earned that shell. Give me that goddamn shell already. Maybe there's like some unexplored part of the game I haven't seen or something. So this is kind of the point where I've run out of things to say, but I only have like three... Three minutes to say something before we are out of air anyways so the reason why I haven't uploaded any videos for the last month or so is because I simply haven't had the time I did indeed record in advance the equivalent of like eight hours of uh, raw footage but I didn't get to edit it because I was working 14 hours shift in an unbearable environment Fr frankly it's almost uh, well, it's at least one of the best paying jobs I had in my life but still it was still awful and I still didn't have time to edit stuff the only thing I could actually finish and upload was something I've already made pretty much and the only reason that and even if I did have time to edit and upload I wouldn't have the internet capacity available to upload it to YouTube even if I did make the videos so I actually have like four episodes, if that can even do it, four or five episodes of uh, The House of Da Vinci available and ready to upload, uh, and ready for editing and uploading. And I intend on doing that, just not right now, because right now I am making my... It's not condolences, it's not an apology, because I'm not apologizing for anything. Oh, that's the... God damn it, thought it was a tent. I'm not apologizing for anything. But yeah, I'm making my peace with the fact that I have not uploaded anything for the last month or so and well, while I technically could probably have done it, I haven't had the focus to it, I haven't had the mental capacity to do it. I've been too busy trying just to basic survive and get motivation to get through the day. But anyways, let's get up from here. Now we got all the entries, I guess. Let's get some diver signals by swimming upwards, straight upwards. There we go. This helps me nothing because I have no, no idea of where the hell the goddamn things are that I'm looking for. Also, I'm looking for like one more shell somewhere. So, I looked at the official commentary for it and uh, it, that was very, very unhelpful for explaining absolutely anything. So what I'm going to do is the logical thing. I'm going to slap my keyboard till a beam of light shows me where the hell, what the fuck is going on. Nothing. Highlights valuable items in yellow, garbage and pollution in green, and hazards in red. Oh, I think it was set. Remember, the scanner has to recharge after each use. Yeah, but now I'm going to be scanning the entire ocean floor. To heal a contaminated creature, you have to equip the... Switch to the healing beam mode and heal your first... I believe it was set, I pressed. Yay, I healed a fish. It also indicates dangers apparently, which is nice, I guess. So now that I have an idea what the fuck we're looking for... Hold on. There we go. Just that thing, okay. Right. 
Ah, ah. Contaminated fish, I'm going to kill you. Oh yeah. So we are literally looking for Dory. Nothing. Good. That's actually excellent. Great to know that my equipment is actually working. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I was just running around shooting at everything. Aha! Anything else? Anywhere else? No, I think not. But let me look up below me. It's indicating something. Oh, over there. Can I? I cannot. Just have to take this nice and slow. It makes a clicking noise every time I encounter something. There. I presume that means I can also hear whenever I find the last pick up about thing that I'm missing somewhere. Yay! I'm actually doing great for the environment. The problem is, I'm kind of having a bit of a Doppler effect on this thing. If I'm moving the same direction as I'm sailing, I'll have a Doppler effect on it, so yeah. It won't be as effective if I'm actually moving. There. neutralized. It's only detecting the threats in here. The rate of the scanner is actually not that useful because its outrange is currently my healing gun. It might be effective against threats like sharks and such whenever they start to appear, but for the first couple of levels, it's kind of redundant. Very redundant. We can easily just scan around us, but we're kind of having a problem with a Doppler effect. Uh, building up or accumulating as we move forward, especially if we move fast. So we have to kind of move slow enough for the scanner to stay ahead of us, or at least confirm that there's nothing ahead of us. It's a threat, but we don't care about those. Uh huh, fish. About the fish over here. I'm pretty sure I've already scanned these over here, but in that case, I should, I just shouldn't get any sort of result out of it, right? It doesn't hurt to double check. Best case scenario, I find something, probably a seashell or something, which doesn't belong down here, apparently. Uh huh? Got it. But at least I made an impact upon the ecosystem. Okay. No, stop. I heard it from over here, but I don't see anything. There. God damn it. It's behind you. Yes, I hear you. Guess what? I'm going to accumulate air apparently by shooting fish. Hold on. What the hell is it? Well, we're going up anyways. Oh, there it is. There we go. And now we go up. We made a great impact upon the ecosystem, I guess. But it's not exactly what I was going for here. That's not enough. Yeah, I know. Great, two more minutes of oxygen, plus whatever I accumulate whenever I'm going there. We're gonna actually go one more time. I found one of the fish. The other one's probably right nearby then. 
Huh. Apparently a starfish is dangerous for my health. I guess. Apparently that thing is dangerous. No? So... I have everything now. We can actually go away. But let's go and say goodbye to Dory before we go then. Where's Dory? Dory, you used to be over here. Are you still here? There you are. Goodbye, Dory. 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 Dory? I know you don't remember me, but I absolutely loved you in the movies. You were absolutely excellent. I just want to say on the behalf of all the 19s kids who grew up like in the late 90s and such, I really loved your performance, Dory. I know you're trying to ignore me because you're just used to all the fandom here, but I just want to say I absolutely loved you in the movies, and I am so happy that you exist and you're a part of my life. I just came to see for you, so yeah, I hope you're satisfied and I hope you will have a good day and continue doing the great things you do for the ocean around you, apparently. You know, all the chaos you create and such. And I hope that one day you may remember everything you have been through. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this area for you, so uh, yeah. Have a nice day, Dory. Almost there. Wait! Oh, I thought I was missing stuff. But we're done in this area, I think. Good job, rookie. Fine things you've collected. Really great job. Yeah, of course, I got everything. I think you're ready to try something a little bit more, chap. It sounds oh. scary, but that's just a name. Don't worry about it. You're not getting plundered. Here's what I'm gonna do. Pirate's nest. We are going to take the intro to this one. Then I'm going back up, and then we're going to end it there. That'll be it for this time around. That'll be what we do here. We're going down just to go up afterwards. Yar! Let's fetch us some booty, matey! What? Do you know how long it's been since I had a new recruit? What the hell happened to you, man? It gets quite lonely out here. Loosen up, will ya? Jeez. Uh... All right then. Pirate's Nest should have something of value to us. So keep your eyes peeled out there. Oh, and watch out for rays too. Stingrays. They're so-called cousins of sharks, but they're relatively harmless. Unless you get too close, that is. Be careful around them, all right? Stingray. Yay. They used to actually be my favorite, uh... Marine biology, but okay. Yeah, it seems that we're not going down just by default. I still want to see just how it is and what the intro is, and then we'll go up again. I'm just gonna take my face off for this. Even though piracy dates all the way back to the 14th century BC, it may be reasonable to assume that it has existed for as long as mankind used oceans for transporting goods and resources. Pirate's Nest is one of the infamous sites which gave the thieves seclusion and reprieve from their persecutors. The golden age of piracy is long gone, but the determined can still find treasure and valuables beneath the water's surface. I want to have a picture of you. I want to have pictures of you. Wow. I don't care that I just smacked my balls against the goddamn seabed. There was a dolphin. Wow. It just made the tr entire trip worth it. Wow. <laughs> so fucking... I am fascinated. Can we get up here? Okay. Thank you. Yay! Celebratory music because I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Anyways, 
pirate's nest. Thank you very much, Karen. So, <laughs> that was amazing. I love this game. I absolutely love every detail that I'm being exposed to and exploring here. I'm looking so much forward to make this a new series that I'll do as time lives me, or as time becomes available. Now I have a lot of editing to do, because I have like five episodes on hold that I need to get through, plus extra materials, but that extra material is not going anywhere. That's kind of magic about being an unfamous YouTuber, actually. Your fans are not going anywhere because you don't have any. Self-burns, those are rare. Anyways, this has been Nick Ron Kotz here, playing Deep Dive Simulator. If you like what's on watching more, please do subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and or share it with your friends. Because this game is absolutely amazing, and it deserves more attention. Until next time, next episode, bye bye, and I'll see you guys around there, somewhere out in the future.